I got another song, Zeke. Pour some BTAC on me. Does that work? I don't know anyone that's going to do that. I mean, BTAC's not cheap, and I certainly don't know anyone that's going to want to lick it up off of you, so this just seems like a waste. Not even if it was in the name of love? No, that would make me less likely. <laughs> Hello, hello, everyone. My name is John Edwards, and with me, as always, is Zeke Baker, and together we make the Dad's Trick of Bourbon. Wherever you are, whatever time it is, thank you for making us part of your day. You know the drill. It's BTAC week, so want to give a shout out to our friends at orcacoolers.com. Use code DADSEASON for 20% off at orcacoolers.com. Get all of your laser edge glassware at wholesale prices at distilleryproducts.com, and make sure to get in on the action at action247.com, Tennessee's only only sports book by Tennesseans for Tennesseans use code dads 100 and they will match up to 400 bucks of your first deposit we move on Zeke and we move up in proof and now we are drinking eagle rare 17 years old which is actually kind of 18 18 and a half years old this was distilled in the spring of 2002 and aged on the first floor of Warehouse P. That's important. You know, when you're aging it on the first floor, it's going to be a little colder. We know it. A little colder, a little, little chilly. Might need a coat. This comes in at 101 proof. What did you get on this whiskey, Zeke? Nose-wise, it's somewhat subtle, but man, it, it's got a good aroma to it. Marshmallows, first thing that hits me, I really got to get blueberries. That's the that's the biggest curveball. I don't want to jump in on your, your review. I got blueberry and cherry. I mean, yeah, it's somewhere in a darker fruit space and not to only say one thing, but I think everything else is the usual suspects and almost nothing that I haven't gotten from a really good Eagle Rare 10 pick or whatnot. But the darker fruits, especially like a blueberry or something since was definitely the curveball that jumped out at me. I agree with you a hundred percent. I mean, that was the thing on the nose for me, just super fruity with a hint of oak though, like just the slightest hint of oak at 18 and a half years, it's going to be there, but it wasn't overly oaky and it wasn't overly dry. I think the fruit that came through really balanced it out well and didn't like have an adverse effect to it. Yeah. I would almost venture as far as to say you could nose this next to, you know, maybe even just regular Eagle Rare, if not a, a, a pick of, you know, the 10 year stuff. And I don't think you're going to tell much difference in profile or especially proof with those still being a 90 proof. I mean, 101 to 90, that's not the biggest jump in the world, but usually your nares kind of pick up that little extra alcohol singe. No, but it still has a sense of maturity on it that I wouldn't get from a 10 year pick. It's not super pronounced in the way that like you're going to smell it across the room, but it's definitely a different nose to me than the 10 year. It, yeah, it's soft, but it's more mature and more balanced. And what you do get is more concentrated than I would get with the 10 year. Yeah, I'll give you the mature line for sure, especially to me in the train of thought of, you know, a, a more mature oak that just lends different qualities to it. Whereas some of the, the 10 year stuff seems to be more chalky in both the smell and then also taste and feel to it. Just, I mean, you can't say it's dry cause it's a liquid product, but it is just kind of a chalky feeling. I don't know it's what I would have to go with. Palette, nuts and bolts here. Definitely even right off the first little draw of this, there was lots of oak. It seemed like very wet, old oak. It wasn't overly dry, but it definitely had a strong spice, very similar to the Saz 18, that to me, from what I've had of, of you know hyper age stuff, that kind of spice component when it comes out is generally much more due to the barrel it was in versus the grains that were inside of it, and aka the liquid. I thought it was kind of thin for being 101. It didn't it never got thick or viscous on me, even tasting it a couple times, letting the tongue get used to it. I didn't get that. At some point, I really got a strong memory of, I thought, walnuts, maybe pecans, but it was almost like the more more of the memory of the shell than actually like eating the nut. That's kind of where I went with walnuts instead of pecan because it, it just had that kind of dry feel to it, you know, like a walnut does. There was some faint butterscotch in there and almost kind of a, I put a bad caramel twang. Like, I don't know what would it be off in the process of making caramel, but that's kind of what I got. 
finish was it kind of had a good adhesion to it but at the same time just like the Saz 18 just a very weak bond that wasn't going to hang and last for any extended amount of time it just dissociated really quick i kind of agree with you but i really don't like i'm getting some of the things that you get but i enjoyed it a hell of a lot more than you did like the oak is there i don't feel like it's a dry oak which i really enjoy i got a lot of pepper on there a lot of usual bourbon suspects caramel butterscotch vanilla blah 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 but the main things that you're going to take away from this are going to be the oak and the the pepper for me but i thought compared to the saz this had a ton more mouthfeel and just was kicked up a little bit i mean it doesn't have the same mouthfeel that some of the other btac releases this year do but what it did have i think it did really really well this was almost like an apple phone for me You know the Android can do more, but what Apple does, it does really freaking good, and it makes it really intuitive. This one isn't going outside the box too much. It's not super complex. It is just a good, solid pour for me. I could see that, and I mean, I think the spots where we connected were the two biggest notes I got as well as far as not being overly dry, but also the spice component that was there. Other characteristics you picked up are obviously much more inherent to a um, you know typical bourbon mash bill than a rye one. And then for you know anyone that hasn't listened to us too much or familiar with profiles, I'm not the biggest Scotch fan at all, and not many you know super old whiskeys do I really uh, get into either. But I would think you having more of a palate for Scotch. I could see this having characteristics that definitely lend themselves more to you than myself. I don't really feel like it tastes like a scotch to me, but I'm just going to no, go with not, it. It's not scotchy, but like elementally, I think the things that are there from like a, a 20 plus age scotch, I, I think like the core fundamentals line up similarly. Again, not the same profile exactly, but like all the second and tertiary sensory things you would get from that and kind of like underlying profile almost. I don't know. I would say if this was offered to me at a store, I am buying it at retail. You? Well, I mean, yeah, (laughs) probably, but luckily I don't think those odds are in our favor. (laughs) No, we don't have enough friends. Uh, It's uh, it's a super unique pour and to craft a whiskey that long is tough, but it's not going to be on the list of things that if I see at a bar, no matter what the price is within reason, I'm still going to buy it kind of thing. Maybe a shits and giggles every now and then just to taste it once again or something, but yeah, it didn't blow my socks off by any means. I think that's fair. There's still one other one that I would reach for before this one, but I thought this one was still solid. Y'all find us wherever you find us. You know you've already found us because you're listening. Please leave us an open and honest review. Just like we leave open and honest reviews about the whiskey we drink. We really do need those reviews. They help other people find us. Zeke, where else can the folks find us? Good old Nashville, Tennessee. Cheers. Ciao.